The controller settings have changed significantly on FIFA 23 and here is why you need to know these crucial changes, right? Competitive master switch is of course gonna be on guys, right? It's always on in competitive modes like rivals for champ CTC. Now through pass assistance, you can switch between manual and semi just like the last year. Semi is th the best option for you. FIFA trainer of course will be hide. Guys, time finishing should be on. It's a crucial feature. I believe it will be very significant this year just like it was in FIFA 22 so I recommend you to keep it on. Next player switch indicator. If you are a new player and if you don't know which player will be selected next once you click L1 then keep it at on but otherwise keep it at off right. Pass block assistance of course has to be on. Auto switching on air and loose balls is your best bet guys so make sure to keep it at that. Auto switching move assistance should be low. Do not listen to EA, not recommended, right? Auto switch move assistant will keep the player you auto switch to moving in their current direction for a period of time. We do not need it to be high, right? It can mess up with our defensive positioning. So low or none are always the best options for me, right? Clearance assistant classic is your best bet player lock has to be on guys it is an advanced feature but you need to invest the time and learn the player lock a future tutorial will help you do that right icon switching must be off pretty useless feature guys talking about controller settings guys make sure to click that like button if you find this video helpful right stick switching adaptive is the new feature this year right holding right stick for longer will switch to more distant player as soon as you release it now this is a very good feature for those players who are not very good with right stick switching especially when they are trying to defend through balls so if you are someone who is not very good with right stick switching go with adaptive right but if you're someone who knows how to right stick switch then classic is the best for you for me i'm gonna keep with classic because flicking right stick is something i love to do and i'm very good at it so if you are someone who's comfortable with the classic classic is your best bet guys right stick switching reference always player relative guys always always do not listen to people who tell you to use ball relative ball relative will take you only so far player relative is the way to go ground pass assistance right now ea this year has said that we will reward you for semi passes but I still believe assisted is fine with the ground pass because it's something we do so often. Short assistance once again with semi they say they will reward you more. So this is something we need to practice but for now since the game is pretty new I recommend you to use assisted but you can invest the time with semi and it is a viable option this year. Cross assistance guys I recommend you to keep it at semi. Law pass assistance I will recommend you to keep it at semi because this is something we do not use as often as the ground pass and like EA said semi will be rewarded so why not invest the time in the game and learn this right even if we make an error who cares lob through pass semi we need to keep it at semi save assistant does not really matter analog sprint should be off pass receiver lock there are new features like animation start so this is the one for early this is the power up the pass receiver is locked as soon as the pass button release or the power bar reaches full power this is the earliest possible receiver lock right so this is the early setting i do not recommend it it is usually good if you have immense delay so if you are having immense delay in your gameplay use the power up otherwise lay it is always your best bet guys user vibration feedback is of course gonna be off trigger effect useless off click here for the best starter custom tactics on fifa 23